Hey, good afternoon. Um, let's talk about when you, your past relevant work that you put down in your work history report included the situation where your impairments were growing, maybe at a worker's comp injury, maybe not, and your employer gives you accommodated work um, for a period of time. And what you need to know, and we're doing one of these right now, and that's why I bring this up. Uh, you have your general job as you normally do it and for that employer, and they also look to how it's performed generally by employers in the economy, not just your employer, that particular job. Okay, now when you have a significant accommodation, um, going to light duty, maybe it wasn't light duty before, um, but the very specifics of how it has changed. And if that has, has been um, durable, um, sad to say that new accommodated job is now considered one of your past relevant work jobs that you now have to prove. Not only could you not do the job before you were accommodated, you now can't do the job given your impairments, even if you had those accommodations. And I'm going to quote you the section. This is going to be under, do, 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 uh oh, I'm going to get lost here. DI 25005.020, past relevant work as the claimant performed it. And the section I am alluding to has a quote, and I'm going to read it to you. If a previous employer offered accommodations that allowed the claimant to perform past relevant work with his or her impairment, and the claimant retains the ability to do the past relevant work with the accommodations in place, find that the claimant is able to do past relevant work as he or she performed it, even if the accommodations might not be available in other workplaces. If that's just a one hit wonder opportunity, or if work ceased because the employer removed the accommodations. This is very painful. <laughs> Even if the work ceased because the employer no longer allowed those accommodations, the fact that the lawyer, lawyer employer did provide you those accommodations, now, assuming that job was done long enough and all that, uh, that is now considered a prior relevant work job. And you have to prove that you can't do that one either. And as you can see, because they look at the way it was performed and whether or not it's available in other jobs, either one will put a fork in your case. So I believe when you are providing this information uh, that your last job, say, you know, maybe the last two years was, um, you know, they took away some of the heavy lifting. You need to be specific. Um, and I'm, I'm speaking mostly of the physical requirements of the, of the accommodated job. Um, when you say, yeah, they put it on light duty. Well, that's a real nebulous term when it comes to when you're at work. The SSA has some, you know, more exactness the way it defines it. So when you say light duty, um, if you are lifting 75 pounds a few times a week, you had to move something 70, 75 pounds. And now with your, your accommodation, they get someone else to do that part for you. But you are still lifting, say, 30. Um, that 30 wouldn't be, you know, heavy like the 70, but it would certainly be more than light, which goes up to 20. And that exactness is going to be very important because depending on your vocational profile and what you need to prove with your specific case, because every case is a little different. If you don't specify that you are still lifting 30 pounds sometimes with that job as accommodated, um, maybe you used to have to lift that amount all day long and now you only have to do it occasionally up to two, two hours a day, not up to six, say. Um, you're going to want to make sure it's known that you still do that lifting, even if it's to a lesser amount, 
um, but over the light amount or um, less frequently, but still have to do it to get that job done when you are at that company. You want that in there because if you have severe physical limitations that you couldn't generally be lifting, you know, uh, 20 pounds or 15 pounds now you could you could sh by by being exacting with how much you did have to sometimes lift when you did that accommodated job now you can knock out that prior relevant accommodated work from one that you could do today so don't be really um blasé about you know putting in those details um, they might ask you for more later, which which is generally the case if uh, if they realize you had an accommodation. Um, it could be if let's say you did a lot of walking at your original job and then when it was accommodated, the difference was I lifted less. I still had to be on my feet half the day. You know, that part didn't change. I just didn't have to carry heavy things the way I did before. Now I used a cart. Now they use, you know, Mr. Intern over here to do the heavy lifting. Um, you're going to want to get that in there to show that you are still doing um, non-sedentary. Sedentary would be where you're not walking much. At most, you're on your feet up to two hours in an eight-hour day. So if you're going to, if your goal is to prove that, um, you know, let's say, let's say you generally could do sedentary work, but you're trying to grit out, um, you're going to need to show that that prior relevant work was not sedentary, that it was in fact, at, even as accommodated, it was light. You were on your feet more than more than the two hours. It was four hours or six hours or all day long. You just didn't have to do the lifting. So you wanna get into the specifics. Um, some of them are gonna help you of those specifics and some won't. And I know that's gonna be hard to know which ones do or do not. Um, if you're not well studied in this area, you might want to get a representative if you don't already have one. Hopefully, if you do have one, they know about this and they will make sure that those proper answers get in when requested by the SSA. Um, or if you don't have a rep, maybe you want to get a consultation about it and figure out what to do because that accommodated work can sink your ship. And if they're asking about it, that's why. Okay. Anyway, um, because accommodated work can be past relevant work it is basically the end game here. And you have to prove that you can't do your past relevant work. So you want to make sure you explain all the hard things that had to be done with that job. Not so much the brainiac stuff um, necessarily, but the physical stuff. Okay. Do not forget any of that stuff. You only got to do once a week. Get it in there. You had to empty that garbage, a 30 pound bag. Um, but it was only once a week. So you don't think about it. Start thinking about it. Okay. Chat with you later. Bye.